steps to make array non decreasing so here in this question you are given an array of integers in one step you remove all the elements from your input array where nums of i minus 1 is greater than nums of i what do we need to do we need to identify the minimum number of steps needed until the array becomes non decreasing in nature so here they have provided us with an example uh, let's walk through this example so uh, at what all positions do you see that the previous character is greater in value than your current character so the first instance is this the second instance is this the third instance is this so after the first iteration uh, 3 gets removed this 3 gets removed and this 5 gets removed so the updated array is this one let's again identify those instances where of uh, the previous character is greater than value than the current character so the first one is this second one is this so 4 and 6 gets deleted by virtue of it the updated array becomes 54711 let's walk through the next step and here again we see there is one instance where the previous character is greater than value than in than the current one which is this one and therefore we delete 4 so the array becomes 5711 and as you can see this has become non decreasing in nature how many character how many steps in in total we perform we we performed three steps and how many characters did we uh, cancel out we deleted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we deleted seven characters but we are not interested in that value we are interested in the number of times we have performed this operation without further ado let's quickly walk through the algorithm uh, the presentation where i'll talk about the algo as well as various test cases to go about solving this question lead code double to 89 steps to make array non decreasing it's a medium level question on lead code and i also feel the same also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below now let's get started so i'll explain the algorithm while driving through test cases so let's get started so the first element that we see is 5 so uh, there is no element prior to 5 so we are pretty good and i'll also store a value that will tell us how many elements are deleted with respect to the current element towards its right so by default all of these will have a value zero so let's proceed ahead the next element that we see is 3 so you can see that 3 happens to be lower in value than the previous element the previous element here is greater as a result of which we have to delete this element up so this element gets deleted and uh, the value over here gets updated to 1 because towards the right of 5 we have deleted one element pretty awesome let's proceed ahead next we see is 4 4 is again lower than 5 as a result of which we'll have to delete it as per the question so this count gets updated to 2 because we have deleted two elements towards the right of 5 let's proceed ahead next we again see is 4 4 is again lower than 5 therefore this uh, this value gets updated to 3 because we have deleted three elements to the right of 5 let's proceed ahead next we see is 7 7 happens to be greater in value then 5 so we are pretty good let's update the count here to 0 let's continue the same process again we see that uh, the next element is 3 so 3 is lower than 7 we have to delete this up the count gets updated to 1 so this gets deleted this gets updated to 1 because we have deleted one element towards the right of 7 let's proceed ahead next we see is 6 6 again is lower than 7 uh, as a result of it the count gets updated to 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 11 so at 11 uh, we see that its value is greater than 7 so uh, we have to reset it up so we'll start the operation again from here and the value gets updated to 0 uh, let's proceed ahead next we see is 8 8 gets deleted by virtue of 11 uh, therefore the value the count gets updated to 1 next again we see is 5 5 is lower than 11 the count gets updated to 2 next we see is 11 so 11 is equal to 11 we are not going to do anything and the count gets updated to 0 over here uh, there is no element to the word the right of 11 we are done with the iteration so out of all these counts that we have 5 7 11 and 11 what is the maximum one the maximum one happens to be 3 and therefore it becomes the answer so pretty simple and straightforward technique uh, we can, it can easily be solved using stacks approach but there is a catch what is that catch let's walk through another test let's assume the elements are 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 and uh, let's perform the same operations that we talked about in the previous uh, example as well so we see 10 and here you will see that the all the elements are lower than 10 as a result of which we will delete all of them so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 all of them gets deleted 
the value here the count value here gets updated to 9 but is this correct it's not correct 9 is not the correct answer what would be the correct answer let's try and identify it so let's just erase this up so in the first go what will i do i'll simply delete uh, one so one gets deleted and here again i see a dip so after six we see a one so this one also gets deleted so we have performed the first step and in the first step we deleted both these ones together in a single go uh, by virtue of here having 10 and here having 6. Uh, let's perform step 2 and in step 2 again you will delete this 2 and this 2 will also be deleted again by virtue of this 6 and 10. So we have performed 2 steps so far. Let's proceed ahead. Next uh, let's do the same thing again. This 3 gets deleted, this 3 gets deleted and the total steps that we have done is 3. Uh, again this 3 got deleted by virtue of 10 and here the virtue of 6 and the updated elements are 10, 4, 5, 6 there are only 4 elements left so let's perform the same operation again and this time only 4 will be deleted so the total step count gets updated to 4 and as you can see uh, uh, there are no more elements to the right of 6 so we won't be deleting to anything to the right of 6 the updated array becomes 10, 5, 6 and let's again perform the same operation as we can see 5 is lower than 10 5 gets deleted the total step count gets updated to 5 in the last there are only two elements left 10 and 6 again 6 is lower than 10 therefore 6 gets deleted the count gets updated to 6 therefore for this particular instance the test case the answer should be 6 not 9 then how can we update our algorithm to solve this question appropriately for all such test cases so instead of going from left to right direction left let's move towards right to left direction and the algorithm remains the same we'll create a stack and on that stack we'll store the element along with the count so right now we have three and at three the count is zero so let's proceed ahead towards the left of three what do we see we see two two is lower in value therefore we'll not do anything we'll simply go ahead and add it to the stack because it is lower in value than the rightmost element. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 1. So 1 again is lower in value than the peakmost value of the stack which is 2. Therefore we will again add 1,0 onto the stack. So this gets added. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 6. So at 6 it, the value becomes greater than the peakmost element. It's an interesting case. Therefore, we will pull out 1 from the stack and the count gets updated to 1 because we have deleted 1 element from the stack. Again, we will see that the peakmost element is 2. 2 is lower than 6. Therefore, we will delete this up. The count gets updated to 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 3. 3 is lower than 6. The count gets updated to 3. And now the stack has become empty. What we will do? We will simply add 6,3 onto the stack because at 6 we will see that uh, three elements have been deleted and the one possibility of answer becomes three so pretty good and straightforward so far let's proceed ahead next we see is five so at five uh, the value is lower than the peakmost element therefore we'll simply go ahead and add five onto the stack so five comma zero gets added onto the stack next we see is four four comma zero gets added onto the stack next we see is three three comma zero gets added onto the stack because the value is lower than the peakmost value uh, the current value is lower than uh, the peakmost value and let's proceed ahead 2 is again lower than the peakmost value so 2 comma 0 gets added onto the stack next we see is 1 comma 0 it gets added onto the stack because 1 is lower than 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 10 so 10 happens to be greater in value than uh, the peakmost element of the stack so we have one here as a result of it this should be deleted so the count gets updated to one because you are deleting one character or one digit from your stack so this gets deleted next we see is two two is again greater uh, than uh, 10 so two gets deleted the count gets updated to two next we see is three three is again lower than 10 uh, therefore we will delete three so the count gets updated to three next we see is four four gets deleted and the count gets updated to 4. Next we see is 5. 5 gets deleted. The count gets up, uh, updated to 5. Next we see is 6. 6 gets deleted. The count gets updated to 6. And with this, uh, we have iterated over the entire array. The count variable uh, get is 6 out of 3 and 6. Which one is the maximum one? 6 is the maximum one and therefore it becomes the answer. 
I'll exactly follow the same steps. The time complexity of this approach is order of n, and the space complexity is also order of n because you are using stacks in this case. The only trick that you need to understand is to move in the reverse direction from right to left, not from uh, left to right. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section. Here I have created an integer value n that tells the number of elements in my input array. I have created an answer variable. I have created a stack and at that stack it, it holds a pair. Pair has two parts, key and value again. I push an element onto this pair. So this is the last element. Uh, it represents the key of the pair and the value is zero which represents a count. So uh, if I have to write it in a better format, it is element comma count. And let's start the iteration in the reverse direction. I've created a count variable as well for the current iteration that I'm currently doing. While stack.empty is not null and uh, nums at the current element under consideration is greater than the uh, peakmost value that I have on my stack. If that is the case, I update my count variable to count plus one comma st dot peak dot get value. So I compare these two up, I find the maximum one out and I simply delete this up. So once I have done this, I simply add this count along with the current element onto the stack and the answer would be maximum of ANS comma count. Once I'm done with this, I simply return the ANS variable that I have. So the concept here that we used is monotonic stacks. It's a very famous problem of monotonic stacks. The time complexity is order of n. Also I've created the SD revision sheet for stacks. I'm attaching its link in the description below if you're not aware of it. So let me just show that SD revision sheet if you're interested in more problems on monotonic stacks. So go here and check this sheet up guys. I'll be adding this question onto the list. Although it's not highly as in interviews, but it's good to have a try on it as well because the concept is exactly the same. With this, let's start off today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead.